What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. The Curtain Rays are back in the game. These are your new nominating contract players. You can get a free nominating contract after playing 15 games, clearing the new match pass. And honestly, this is probably going to be the easiest decision you will ever need to make, right? Now, I know a few people have asked about Mason Mount and Tammy Abraham and Reese James. Personally, for me, I feel the only player worth getting now because we're so close to eFootball 2025. I genuinely think that Gavi is probably the only one to get straight up. Now, if you have more than one five-star nominating contract, as you see, I have an extra one after getting Gavi. I do feel that Mount is okay. Reese James is pretty decent as well, but he doesn't really fit into where the game is at at the moment. He's okay. He's okay. But none of these are a bad option. Mings has got fairly poor levels. He's okay otherwise. Gnabry is just run of the mill. Um, I do feel that like Reese James is probably the second pick that I would go for as an attacking fullback. But his balance is quite poor. His defense isn't good enough as an attacking fullback. If you are starting off and you got two nominating contracts, it's definitely not a bad shout. Especially that you can train him as a CB and a right midfielder or straight off the rip. He's got soul control. It's pretty, pretty decent. If you guys want to see training guides of all of these cards let me know but i am going to focus on basically who i recommend and um it has to be gavi gavi is the only one that i've actually got myself and i'll show you why right here so i'm just going to show you a little clip here of gavi with really nice tight finishing we're going to show you the build in a second just kind of a switch up of my play develops the play here with gavi beautiful ball in he keeps the run on we switch it around with beckham we're going to go back out to Vieira. we're going to slip it over in from bale with a double touch and then beautiful little feet from gavi and a simple little right foot finish very very effective very very nice and i do think that that's what gabby's strengths are getting into those positions and for that build i'll show you in a second right i know people are going to ask me you know oh what about ganabry and reese james they are good i'm playing with them they are good yes they will be good depending on where your journey is the reason why I'm saying it is, they are going to be bringing out a second nominating contract pack, right? This is going for 34 days, but this J-League one as well, I do feel that they are going to bring out a lot more packs. And Mason Mount will probably be in the club pack that they bring out as well for, you know, the new season. Gavi will also be, but I feel that if you have never played with Gavi, he definitely is a really good player to get for free. I mean, he's definitely a good player that you can get for free. Now, we were training him up as an attacking midfielder. You can play him centrally as well because he has really good aggression and defensive engagement. This is the build that we went for. 80 attacking awareness, 90 ball control, 92 dribbling, 93 tight possession, 88 aggression and 90 defensive engagement. And then that all-important 80 attack and awareness with 95 balance, 90 acceleration. Kicking power doesn't get to 80, which is a bit of a concern if you're into that. And you want the kicking power to be 80. His finishing only goes to 70 as well. But as you saw from that clip, don't worry about the finishing, man. If you're in positions like that, you should be able to finish your dinner without salt and pepper. You should just be able to pop it in. So for the additional skills and stuff, I haven't really trained that up yet. It's fairly self-explanatory, I think, of where you'll put them. And as for the build itself, this is what we have gone for for those positions, right? This is the player progression, 3, 5, 6, 8, 11, 0, 4. And that's kind of what we've, what we've been using in the stream. So, yeah, he is pretty decent. I do like him. Obviously, if I was putting low lofted on him, weighted pass, they're a necessity if you want to give him skills. Obviously, you can either take the gamble with it or if you have legacy transfer guys that you can use, you can do that. But to be honest with you, this close to the new game and what they're going to be doing, you could also throw Soul Controller or that and throw Advanced Double Touch on him. Um, I do feel like that he does have a lot of good skills. Low Lofted would be nice if you wanted to put that on him. If you have a free one, we don't. Um, but he does have a lot of nice skills. Weighted Pass you could throw on him. Depends where you're playing him. Now, a few people have asked me should they make him a little bit more defensive. I honestly wouldn't go more than 75 tackling. That's the only change I'd make if you want to go defensive. I would take out a little bit of his shooting. Not that there's much in it. I'd take out a little bit of his low pass. Maybe one or two dexterity and leave it at that. Because um, you won't need that rapid acceleration and balance unless you're dribbling a lot with him as you saw in the clips. So let me know what you guys think of that. And as I said, if you want me to show you other builds of these, let me know. I just don't feel like that these cards are worth it, man. Even as a free card, I just feel like that they're, they're just way off the pace of where they needed to be. It's probably one of the worst nominating contracts they've released, but... I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, we will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And did you go for any other player other than Gavi? And if you did, let me know how they're going for you. And as I said, I can do a really quick guide on them if you want. They are, there's a couple of unique stats about Mount. Like Mount is decent, but his balance is poor for a whole player. Double touch, soul control. He needs to get flip flap. Yeah, I still stick with it, man, that I do feel that um, Gavi's the only one worth spinning or getting for free on this.
and hold on to your nominating contract for the next one.